Hi everyone! It's time to expand your knowledge on diamond art accessories. When you're first starting out, what you get in a diamond art kit is acceptable, but as you're making more projects, you will want to get more things to help you. To begin, you can buy accessory kits, but most of them there is no point in buying. I'm going to show you what can truly benefit you and what is absolutely pointless. Okay, here are a few diamond art accessory kits you can buy. I'm going to go through each item in the kit and talk about them. I will also talk about a few things not in the kits you may not have thought about. In the first kit, you see it has a lot of pink. The first item is a bin, a storage bin for all your accessories. It's very handy. I bought mine at the dollar store, but really you can get it anywhere. Then there are diamond drills. There is a simple diamond drill in every diamond art kit you get, but you can get different ones with different heads. I've never been able to get the multi-diamond head to work, but there are lots of people out there who can. There are also drills that look fancy and cute. I also have one that lights up. It's handy in those tougher to see areas. Next are the tweezers. Some use them to place diamonds. I use mine in case a mistake is made to remove or move the diamond. Plastic ones are easy to break and metal ones are more durable. Extra wax. Extra wax is good to have, but you don't have to use the whole square for one project. Also, you get wax with every diamond art kit you get. Some diamond art kits come with excess wax squares. If you don't use all the wax from one kit, just store it and save it in a small bag for later use. Diamond Art Trays Diamond Art Trays come with every Diamond Art Kit. Don't waste your money and buy more. Some come with spouts, and these are my personal favorites. Why? Because the spout makes it easy to pour the diamonds back away for later. Diamond Storage Very important! You will need a few of these. Some projects have up to 30 or more different diamond art colors or types. Labels for your storage. Not really needed. I wrote numbers on my containers. I have also taken tape and made labels that I can remove for later. Buying labels and or making labels is really up to you. A grip pad. A grip pad is the next thing in the picture. You don't really need it. Just place your tools on your workstation in a location where they won't roll. Next is a roller. Rollers are great for finishing the project and they are also great to use during the process of making your project. Just roll it on the project to flatten it and to make sure all your pieces are secure. The last four items are not really needed at all. There is tiny or small bags. They are usually used for sorting or storing diamonds. It can be consistently hard to remove and put the diamonds back into the bag. Then there's cleaning brushes. They are used to brush off your project and clean off the diamond trays. Spoons. You don't need spoons at all. They can be used to remove diamonds from the tiny bags. Last item of this kit are the clips. Clips can be useful, but not the plastic ones. 
The plastic clips break really easy. Metal ones like office supplies work much better. For the second kit, we already talked about most of it. There are only two items we haven't. First is the stand. Now, there are upsides and downsides to the stand. Upside, you can do your project off the flat surface like a desk, so it's more comfortable. Downside, you can only make small or not long or tall projects. You can take clips and clip your project to your stand if your project is not using a light board. The second is a light board. I love using my light board. I use it for all my projects. It shines a light through your project so you can see all the symbols better. There is only one thing I haven't talked about in kit number three. There's a light board stand. Light boards are meant to be on a hard surface. The stand pushes the light board up so it's at an angle. So while you're working on, the project is actually pushing on the stand itself. The light board is more likely to break. There are a few things not in the kits to talk about. Diamond sorting station. I don't have one, but I use a diamond storage container. These would be great if you used a designated project area or have no young kids running around. A magnifying light. It makes it easier to see your project symbols, but don't use a light board if you get one of these. These can also be expensive. A diamond vacuum. I thought these were funny. But if you're knocking your diamond tray over, it would be useful. Diamond straightener. There is no point in getting one of these because lots of kits have different sizes of diamonds. You put diamonds in the holes and pull the straightener off when it's full. Cover paper. It is a waste of money. You remove the plastic off your project and replace it with this. Just cut the plastic or paper that came with the project using your hobby knife. A ruler. I use it to cut straight lines across my project, but can also be used to straighten up the sides of your project. A hobby knife. You use it to cut proportional areas of your project. Then you won't do over the amount of area you'd like to do. Masking tape. Masking tape is also great. You could use it around the edges of your project to prevent dirt or dust from sticking to your completed project. This last kit is a prime example of a waste of money. You get all this except for the tweezers in all diamond art projects. There are a lot of varieties of accessories. I hope this video helped you. And remember, with diamond art, the choice is yours.